Let's learn how to create structs in Sway. I'll show you how to create, read, and update. I'll also show you some shortcuts, and I'll also show you how to do a destructuring assignment with structs. To create a struct, you would type struct, and for this example, we'll create a struct that represents a point. Point has two numbers. I'll type point, and then it will have two fields, x of type u64, and y of type u64. You can also create a nested struct, so next, I'll create a struct called line, struct line, and inside this struct, we'll put two points. So say P0 of point and P1 of point. This is how you would declare a struct, but how will we use it inside our contract? So let's create a struct of points inside our function test func. I'll say that P0 is equal to, so to initialize a struct, you say point, curly braces, and then the field x, let's say 1, and y will be 2. This is how you would create a struct. How would we update it? To be able to update this, we first need to declare the struct as mute, meaning that this variable will be mutable. Let's update the field x inside p0. So say p0.x is equal to 11. Next, I'll show you a shortcut for creating a struct. So let's say that we have a variable name x of type u64 and this is equal to 1 and we also have another variable named y of type u64 and this is equal to 2. Now if you wanted to create a struct you would do point x is equal to x and y is equal to y. I'll name the struct that p1 is equal to point. Okay but there is a shortcut to create the exact same struct. This is similar to JavaScript what you can do here is like this. Since the variable name and the field name matches we don't have to do x colon x. We can simply say x. How about nested structs? How do we create a nested struct? So let's say that. I'm going to scroll up. The struct that we're going to be creating is line. And this is a nested struct. Inside the struct line, we have two other structs, point p0 and point p1. So say that line is equal to line. And we can use a shortcut that I introduced above. We say p0 and p1. How about if you wanted to destructure the struct? Let's say that we have a struct call line and we want to quickly access the field x. So what we have to do is access line and then access p0, let's say p0, and then from p0 we'll have to access the field x. Is there a quick way to do this? Well, there is. So let's say that line, we want to access p0, and p0 is a point which has two fields, let's say x, and let's assign this to a variable named x0, and it has a field named y, let's assign this to a variable named y0. And we can do the same for p1. p1 is a point, we'll name the x field x1, and the y field y1, and this is equal to line. Line is a struct that we created over here, and what we're doing over here is assigning the variables x0, y0, x1, and y1 from the fields inside line. What we did over here is called destructuring assignment. Okay, for the last step, how about we return the struct line from this test func? So what we have to do is change the type to line, and we'll do the same over here, and that's the over here. Instead of returning true, we'll return line. Let's try compiling the contract. I'll open my terminal then type fork build and our contract compiles. For the last part of this video, let's try compiling the contract and then deploy it on beta 3 testnet. So I'll paste my code, compile. Okay, the contract compile. We'll deploy it next, approve the transaction. Once the contract is deployed, we'll call the function test func. Okay, let's call this. And we get a struct back as a response. This struct represents the line. We have the points P0, P1, and for each point we have the fields X and Y. 